two videos in two days. Christ, this is new after a two week break, but we're back with a weekly roundup episode, uh, number seven. Although these haven't been over seven weeks, there's kind of been a few gaps in between. But we are back, and th these will now be every week, sort of thing, hopefully. Um, but yeah, this weekly roundup is going to be predominantly about Emmy Buendia and where should he go. Um, but it, before we get into this video, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so we don't miss out on any more videos. Also go follow my socials, the links for them will be down in the description. And let's get into this week's weekly roundup. That's a bit of a, bit of a mouthful, that one. But yes, it's all about Emmy Buendia, obviously being heavily linked to Arsenal and also heavily linked to Aston Villa. Either way, he's been heavily linked away with Norwich. And that, that in itself has annoyed me. Um, well, it's, it's understandable why he's been linked away. Um, but I, I, it's, it's, it will annoy me if we sell him. I think, you know, we've come to the stage now where we are a financially stable club, I believe. Um, I haven't seen any reports or anything anywhere that we aren't financially stable in this current moment of time. So there's no need for us to cash in on Buendia. Um, in my eyes, there's no need for us. And if we want to stay up in the Premier League, we've got to give ourselves the best chance possible. And selling our best player, someone who's already Premier League proven, by the way, you know, Emi Buendia is Premier League proven, 100%. If we sell him, it's just kind of back to square one. But, you know, we want to give ourselves the best chance possible to stay up. And by doing that, we need to keep hold of our best players. Um, and Emi Buendia is that best player and we need to keep hold of him. We need to make sure that... Um, but where would he go? Arsenal or Villa? I mean, if he wants a challenge for Europe, I guess his best bet would probably be Arsenal. Um, awful season this season they've had. Uh, just gone. Uh, and they're not in Europe anymore. But it kind of gives them sort of those midweeks free maybe to kind of rest players and allow players to kind of recharge over that period. So maybe they could challenge for Europe next season and get a Europa League, maybe even a Champions League spot. Um, and it's where the Emi Buendia will want to go uh, and do that. But obviously Arsenal, absolute shambles of a club at the minute. Um, I don't want Buendia going there. I think his career will be shafted if he goes there. I don't think he'll do very well. I think Arteta is is not a good got not a good manager. I think the ownership and the whole structure behind Arsenal Football Club at the minute is at you know is an absolute dis it's just it's just disgusting to be perfectly honest with you. Um, and I, I, you know, I don't really want fans slagging Emmy Wendia off week after week um, on Arsenal Fan TV. It just, I, I just would not see like to see Emmy Wendia go there at all. Um, he's, I, I just feel like it'd be the wrong move for Emmy Wendia. I think Atletico Madrid, another club that I've been calling, probably a good move for Wendia, if I'm honest. Um, however, Aston Villa, maybe yeah, Villa could have got European football. You know, they were. They, they were on the fringes of it for a good amount of time. Um, and, you know, Jack Grealish was out for a good chunk of the season. If he wasn't out for that good chunk of the season, Villa could have, you know, pushed for Europe. Um, definitely. And, you know, he could have been playing in maybe that conference, Europa League, whatever it is, or the Europa League football uh, next season if Jack Grealish was fit. Um, and I think Buendia could be that push to the next level for Villa. I mean, you look at that front three, Ollie Watkins, Jack Grealish, and Emi Buendia, that's a scary, scary front three to go up against in the Premier League. And I think it's a front three that is capable of getting European football for Aston Villa. Um, so there is that shout, but it's also not a guarantee. Arsenal, you're more likely to get European football, I guess, in some sense, with them being a bigger club and overall having better players. Aston Villa, I think they've got a really interesting project going on. Um, and a big fan of what they're doing. Yes, they've got a lot of money and they can they can do that. Uh, whereas, you know, Norwich, unfortunately, can't. We don't have that sort of finances. I still think, you know, it, it's a really cool project that they're, that that's going on there at Villa. And, uh, yeah, obviously, I, I think Emi Buendia would absolutely add to that and will, will be really, really good. Um, but overall, like I say, I think Emi Buendia has to stay uh, at Norwich. For me, um, you know, one season in the Premier League, if we go down 100% selling, but I, I, you know, we as as a football club, I don't think we could sell our best player. Um, you know, it just hinders our chances. We want to give ourselves the best chance to stay up, and we need to keep hold of Emi Buendia. But going into other news, I think the main big news is today. Jasper Sillison, uh, I think, tested positive for coronavirus, meaning he's out of the Euros completely. Jasper Sillison is out of the Euros, meaning that Tim Krull, I think, is now Holland's number one, which is fantastic. Obviously, Holland is my country, is where I'm from. Um, so for me, it's fantastic to see a Norwich player, you know, being the number one 
uh, for former national team as well. So, um, yeah, that's that's fantastic news for Tim Crawl as well. You know, becoming uh, the Holland number one. You know, he obviously brought single-handedly brought Holland into a World Cup semi-final uh, during a penalty shootout against Costa Rica. So, yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's really really good news for Tim Krul, um in the Euros, and obviously a whole host of Norwich players being called up to the Euros. So it'll be very, very interesting to see how they do in the coming weeks with the Euros coming up very, very sharpish. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. I don't know how my country, Holland, will do. Obviously, Frank de Boer is a manager, not the greatest, and Virgil van Dijk not at the Euros does kind of make me question it. However, um, I'm looking forward to it nonetheless. Um, and let me know uh, your guys' thoughts. Is football coming home uh, as well? Because it, It'd be interesting to see what you guys think. Um, personally, I don't think we will. I think England will get knocked out in the semis. Um, I think France will win it. They've just got too strong a squad. But I'll speak more about the Euros in later videos. When the Euros is actually happening, and when Norwich players are, are shining in that competition, I'll be speaking more about it. But that is the end of this week's weekly roundup. If you have enjoyed, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos. And also go follow my socials. Links to them will be down in the description. And I shall see you guys later.